In this video, I just want to cover some of the additional layers of bone. This would apply to compact bone or to trabecular bone, otherwise known as spongy bone. In this case, we're dealing with compact bone. This would be an example of a long bone, such as the femur, humerus, what have you. So let's just go over some of these structures. I'll talk about the makeup of some of them. Right here is going to be the compact bone. That is going to be the osseous tissue that makes up the great majority of bone. On the outside of compact bone, we have what's known as the periosteum. Connecting the periosteum to the compact bone are some collagenous fibers that adhere to the compact bone. On the outside of the periosteum, we have fibers that actually connect the periosteum to tendons or ligaments. Tendons, keep in mind, connect muscle to bone. Ligaments are bone to bone. And then we do have blood supply to bones. Bones are living, breathing tissue. And we covered the Haversian system in a previous video showing how blood vessels gain access to very dense compact bone. But those blood vessels are coming from outside of the bone. So right here we can see a blood vessel and it enters the bone via a structure or hole known as the nutrient foramen. So the nutrient foramen provides access for blood vessels and that includes arteries or veins in addition to in addition to nerves. And then this would proceed, and keep in mind from here superior, superiorly, this is running on the interior of compact bone immediately via the central canal of an osteon. Here's just a better image of that nutrient foramen allowing access of arteries going into the bone and veins leaving the bone. And then the innermost layer lining the medullary cavity is the endosteum. Lining the outside of bone is periosteum. Lining the inside of the medullary cavity and throughout spongy bone as well is the endosteum. This slide right here is showing the two layers of the periosteum. The outermost fibrous layer right here in blue and then in magenta here and right here is the osteogenic layer with the bone forming cells such as osteogenic cells, osteoblasts, and osteocytes. And that is it for the layers of bone.